Hi, it's the first time here. Welcome to our channel. My name is Julian. This is Mitri. Hello, everyone. We're talking about fragrances here, and if that's something that you enjoy, we'll be very happy if you'll subscribe to our channel. Uh, today, we'll show you our top five uh, favorite fragrances from a uh, niche uh, fragrance house from Italy, Mask Milano. And uh, we'll start with the uh, honorable mention. Uh, it's uh, Petra. Uh, actually, we did a full video recently on this fragrance. Um, and uh, it's a very beautiful uh, feminine uh, leaning fragrance uh, that actually uh, reminds us of uh, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel uh, in the intense version. Uh, it's got um, bergamot, yellow mandarin and pink pepper in the top notes, uh, jasmine, uh, rose, uh, luca e mata cord and fruity notes in the heart notes and uh, incense, patchouli, benzoin, mirror, uh, leather, amber and grease in the base notes. And overall, uh, this fragrance is very sweet because this luca e mata cord is uh, this uh, eastern sweet, it's a dessert. Um, it's uh, fruity, uh, it's got beautiful patchouli that's uh, more prominent in the base, but you can kind of uh, smell it in the beginning as well. The start of this fragrance is quite weird though, it's a lot of everything going on, so uh, don't be put off by the start of this fragrance, later on it develops into a nice, a sweet oriental fragrance with the spices. It's very warm. If you are fond of this uh, oriental direction, I think you might really like this one because uh, it's uh, a little bit more spicier, it's... Uh, I think maybe it's even done a bit better than Chanel, but uh, I guess everyone uh, will just uh, find their own... Over overall, I think it's a better better fragrance than uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. It's more complex, it has more development and... Uh, it's more, more beautiful, but uh, it's an honorable mention because uh, we like other five fragrances a little bit more. Yeah. And we think uh, that they are more unique than this one. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it instantly reminded us of something else. Uh, but this and, uh, uh, fragrance is uh, amazing and it's made by um, Cecile Zarakian uh, and we really love her work. Uh, she does amazing fragrances. So, yeah, it's definitely worth at least uh, checking this one out. And uh, here on the card is written a little message. Uh, uh, it's written here, she comes in incense and patchouli. And uh, by the way, Petra is uh, a beautiful uh, city in Jordan. It's uh, one of the seven new wonders. Yeah. And actually, it's a very popular uh, uh, name as well. Actually, I've met a lot of uh, Petras in uh, Croatia. I know some. So yeah, it's a very popular name in Croatia as well. So yes, uh, that's our honorable mention for today. And let's move on to number five. And our number five is uh, La Tessa. This is a beautiful iris scent. The most prominent note is iris here. We have a travel spray. It's a tanamel and it's beautiful, guys. Perfumer just, is uh, Luca Maffei. I just it, have to show it, you. It has uh, three types of iris. Look at that, beautiful. I believe jasmine, ylang ylang. It has a uh, mice or sandal within the base. I'm just gonna it's, read you the notes yeah, it's out. it's very beautiful. So, um, top notes yeah. are Italian bergamot, uh, Rolli, Champagne Accord. I don't get Champagne Accord here. It, um, it has some bright uh, uh, fizziness uh, in, the, in the opening. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what they meant by yeah. Champagne Accord. Uh, hard notes are uh, Italian iris root butter, French iris root butter, Italian iris uh, tuberose, uh, Elang Elang and base notes are Mysore sandalwood, oakmoss and leather. So, so uh, th three types of th three types of virus, uh, uh, Mysore sandalwood. Uh, the notes uh, sounds like it's uh, very expensive uh, ingredients yep. in this fragrance, and uh, it's very beautiful. It's powdery. It's uh, it's kind of a little bit sweet, makeupy. 
Yeah. It smells a little bit uh, like uh, women's lipstick. Or powder as well, yeah. like good quality powder. But it's an uh, amazing quality iris. Uh, not my favorite though, mm -hmm. iris fragrance, but uh, one of the best uh, definitely on the market. Yes. My, my, my and Julia's favorite is uh, Pantai Iris by Stefano Berluca. That fragrance absolutely blows our mind. It's yeah. just absolutely fantastic. This one, it's um, but, darker, but, it's deeper, it's creamier. Yeah, but, but but in this fragrance, Iris is much more prominent than in, yeah. in Bantai Iris. Yeah. Uh, in that one are much more uh, notes. Uh, well, uh, these uh, fragrances uh, both are quite complex, I would say. Uh, but you can see more of different aspects in Pantea Iris rather than in uh, Latessa. Latessa is more of like straightforward iris root, uh, like um, iris and uh, this buttery aspect. Yeah, it has some sandalwood, yes. Master so, sandalwood. So yeah, it's very buttery and uh, creamy and... Uh, I think this one is... Powdery. A little, leans, leans a little bit more to feminine side. Yeah, only because it reminds you of, um, you know, of uh, makeup. We the women's why. cosmetics, yeah. That's why. But uh, overall, men can pull this off definitely. I don't think it it really screams gender at all. Yeah. Uh, it's just you know the association that you have with that because uh, most people smelled uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, in cosmetics before and uh, that associates you to, I don't know, your mom, your wife, your girlfriend or someone who you smell that off. But uh, now overall, I don't think it's uh, feminine or masculine, it's just it's just there and everyone can wear this one. Well, if, if we talk about uh, the iris forward uh, fragrances, which, which one is the best uh, from what I've smelled, I, I guess this is the best iris forward uh, fragrance. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I think uh, the most appropriate season is uh, fall and spring. Yeah, more, more, more spring. In a hot summer day, it can be a little bit cloying. I think it can be too much because yeah. it's very, very powerful. You know, in the opening. Yeah, it it it's uh, kind of heavy fragrance. It is heavy. Yeah. So if you're into heavy cosmetics, uh, powdery sort of uh, iris, creamy, definitely check this one out. Uh, the next one, number four, is uh, Russian tea. It's, it's my, it's my, it's it's my beauty. I love it uh, so much. They faded on the table, glowing, the samovar of evening boiled. Uh, Ale Alexander Pushkin. <laughs> uh, perfumer is uh, Julien Raskinet. Alexander Pushkin is a Russian poet. I love his uh, poems uh, a lot. Actually, at school we we have uh, read a lot of his uh, his uh, poems and uh, and so on. He's uh, one of the most popular Russian uh, uh, writers. Yes, we had to learn a lot of his poems by heart. So. Yes. <laughs> so they are writing Samovar, Samovar of Evening Boiled. I agree absolutely. It's uh, kind of uh, boiling, uh, boiling, boiling your black tea. This is a beautiful scent. Go ahead and sniff this one. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful kind of, you know, a lot of tea scents, they're kind of bright uh, for spring or summer. Uh, and this one is a dark tea scent for um, deep thoughts or for uh, colder weather. I would say it's uh, autumn winter scent. It's beautiful, it's um, deep, uh, it's the scent that um, you'd want to wear when you want to um, feel uh, cozy and maybe you want to have some f f food for thought. So yeah, it's very beautiful. I like this one a lot. To, to me this uh, fragrance is very special. It reminds me of my childhood memories a lot. I love winter. I was born in winter and I love this season. It reminds me of winter instantly. When I sprayed it, it boom, winter. 
So uh, this fragrance, uh, Dmitry wanted to say this, uh, his associations, but uh, uh, he decided to give me a word. And um, Dmitry's associations with this fragrance is that um, uh, he's in his childhood and uh, it's uh, winter outside, uh, the snow is falling down, it's all beautiful, the sun is shining and uh, he's sitting next to his uh, fireplace and uh, there is a jar of uh, raspberry um, jam and uh, he's making his uh, sauna ready and it's all very beautiful and he's got his uh, deep uh, black tea ready that has a lot of tea um, and uh, yeah that's sort of the association this fragrance gives and you know it's not like um, you can feel a lot of these things uh, with good proportions but it's also just it's just um, mm, picture uh, that uh, this uh, fragrance gives for example about the raspberry jam it's raspberry is not very prominent but i can feel uh, a little bit of that here as well so all of these things that i just said uh, they just came to a beautiful composition that's uh, very well blended and uh, it's just uh, something that you instantly have in mind when you smell this fragrance. It's very beautiful. It's uh, dark. It's kind of... I, I wouldn't say that it's dark, but it's deep. It's good. Uh, it's uh, heartwarming and it's for um, uh, Whitman Hunter. Autumn, an amazing uh, choice. I would say that uh, this fragrance is dark green. It's smoky, leathery. It has a beautiful uh, viol violet leaf in it. it. It's a little bit sweet. Uh, the notes are mint, black pepper and raspberry, in the heart is uh, black tea, magnolia and everlasting flower, and uh, in the base is uh, leather cord, incense, birchwood and cistus labnum. Yeah, very beautiful, High, highly recommend to try it. One of the best uh, from Mas Milano, definitely. So, our number three is uh, Mandala by Christian Carbonell. And uh, this is a very beautiful and a very unique scent. So this is my 10 ml. I love this one. Super unique. It's uh, very spiritual, I would say, yes? Yes, you can call it spiritual because of the notes of this fragrance. Uh, and the overall vibe. And overall vibe as well, yeah. It kind of... It kind of relaxes you instantly and... Uh, you know, it's giving me this, um, it's got incense here and the incense is very reminiscent of the ones that they're using in the church. Yeah, it uh, has it, frankincense and olibanum, two notes. Yeah, so it's a very light kind of incense, you know, it's uh, not smoky, it's not dark. Overall, I'd say this composition is very um, kind of light and beautiful it reminds me of a sunny day there is no way i'm thinking of a, a day that is full with clouds and yes. the sky on this day is absolutely clear it's blue and it's got a good dose of sun coming in through it's so beautiful yeah, but it's very heavy it's heavy yes but it's this is a very, yes, it's true, this is a very heavy scent, but it gives you super positive emotions. And it kind of uh, makes you want to relax. To me, this is a fragrance that I like to wear when I'm going for walks, especially when I'm going for walks in a pine forest. I think it just blends in so beautifully. I don't really see this fragrance uh, so much in the city or at work. I think... Uh, it's a fragrance for personal enjoyment, uh, for time spent in nature or uh, at home enjoying yourself, um, even maybe meditating or thinking about life, um, discussing life with your loved ones. Yes, this is a very nice um, fragrance and I'll just read you the notes out. Uh, the top notes are frankincense, nutmeg, angelica, heart notes are cardamom, cinnamon, uh, cl cloves, sister cedar, incense, and the base notes are myrrh, sandalwood, oak moss, tincture of uh, natural ambergris. So, you know, it's got quite a lot of spices here. It's got frankincense, um, you know, all of the spices. To me, the most prominent are 
uh, cloves uh, and nutmeg. Also, there is a dose of cardamom, just a little bit of cinnamon. Here, it's not a cinnamon uh, prominent uh, fragrance. Uh, if you're looking for that, uh, and yeah, it's uh, beautiful. It's uh, just. Um, so peaceful i would say really recommend this one and to me it's super unique i haven't smelled uh, anything like this fragrance and i really love it about that um but i have to say that uh, if you're thinking of uh, blind buying a full bottle this will not be a fragrance that you will be reaching out too often in my opinion maybe for some of you it will be your signature fragrance but i, hi I highly doubt that because this is a special moment uh, fragrance um, it can be a bit overpowering sometimes I remember I sprayed my neck uh, three times uh, and uh, I kind of felt bad about that so now I'm spraying like one or two times on my neck uh, for enjoyment and yes this is a fragrance uh, for special days for, for relaxation I would say and uh, yeah so uh, before blind buying a full bottle, think carefully and um, I strongly suggest you to try this one before uh, buying it, but you know 10ml is perfect. I am really enjoying my 10ml here and uh, it's been wonderful. Highly recommend to try this one. Uh, I get the most uh, from this fragrance is uh, frankincense or libano. It's very incensey. It's a little bit smoky to my nose. It's spicy definitely there is a lot of sp uh, different spices and it's kind of fresh and very heavy at the same time and uh, i get some uh, pine forest vibe from it also a little bit yeah it's very beautiful okay so the next one our number two is uh, kintsugi yeah it's my fragrance do you want to spray this one? I love or? it so I love it so much. Yeah. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> to me it's very beautiful. It's uh, it was created in 2019. Mm. And it was created by Vanina excuse me for my pronunciation, Vanina Moraciole or Vanina Moraciole, I don't know how it's correct. It's written here be strong. Man, the broken bones with gold. It's a beautiful uh, modern shipra, I would say. It has a beautiful wild leaf, raspberry leaf, a beautiful silky suede accord. It's aromatic, a little bit spicy. It's green, very green fragrance to my nose. It has some fresh elements, maybe citruses, we'll read, we'll read in the notes, but overall it's a great composition, it's very long lasting, lasts over 15 hours on me and the projection is very good. Actually this one projects, uh, it's one of the best projection, projecting fragrance uh, from, uh, this, uh, from this line. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love it to wear the most in... Uh, uh, colder spring and uh, fall days from uh, 0 to 10 degrees Celsius, I would say outside it's uh, the best. When, when it's windy it's beautiful. I wore it uh, yesterday at uh, work and it, it was uh, amazing. Uh, the top notes are bergamot, magnolia from China, uh, savory amber, in the heart is uh, golden suede, uh, centifolia rose grass absolute, uh, violet leaves absolute in the base is uh, uh, benzoin from Siam, raspberry leaves absolute, and uh, patchouli, patchouli core, and uh, vanilla absolute. I don't get too much vanilla in this. Yeah, you, you need to smell it. It's very, it's unique, very unique, and very unusual. Uh, some people not does doesn't like it, but I love this fragrance. Uh, to me, it's a floral, uh, leathery composition. That's how I classify it for myself. It's unique, it's interesting, it's, um, it's got a good dose of um, sweetness to it. To me, sweetness is very prominent here, but it's not cloying. 
it's not overpowering this composition it's just done beautifully it's got some green notes here as well overall it's a very interesting fragrance to smell it's very unusual and uh, it's uh, not uh, blind by worthy fragrance because uh, uh, it can be I guess a bit controversial as well but I really enjoy this one it's super beautiful and I think uh, this is the fragrance uh, that is a must try from uh, Mask Milano uh, but uh, yes, uh, start from uh, little sizes, from um, a little sample of 2ml. If you can uh, also get, uh, as we did, these uh, 10 uh, milliliter bottles because they're so easy to carry around and you saw how good the sprayers are here. So I'm just really amazed with the quality of these and uh, highly suggest uh, this size. And uh, I would like to add that uh, this fragrance was inspired by uh, I don't I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh, it's some uh, Japanese uh, painting art, I believe. It's uh, smelling very unique, yeah. So let's move on to our number one, no. and of course it's uh, nothing else but tango. Tango by Cecilia Zalcan, also as Petra. We, lo we love her work, we have quite a few of her fragrances, it's one of the best, I believe. I think it's a masterpiece from Cecilia Zarakian, it's amazing composition. We have uh, two bottles and uh, also backup uh, 10 ml bottles to travel with us. Julia also have 10 ml of Tango. Beautiful presentation. And yeah, quite heavy, he heavy, heavy glass. It's ambery, spicy, oriental, Middle Eastern smelling composition. It, it has a, a lot of uh, uh, freshness in it. Uh, I would say it's very, very ambery, but it kind of breathes. There is a, there, there is a, uh, an air in uh, this fragrance, but it's very dense and uh, very long lasting, it projects very good. Not be small, but uh, projections is very good. Lasts over 12-14 hours on my skin. I have to say that this is the fragrance that you should try from Mas Milano, definitely, in our opinion, it's uh, their number one. It's so beautiful. And uh, I'll read you the notes now. In, uh, in the top there is uh, bergamot, black pepper and cardamom. Uh, hard notes are uh, jasmine, uh, rose, cumin, patchouli. And base notes are vanilla bean, uh, melilot, uh, absolute, uh, amber accord, leather accord, benzoin and musks. So you see that it's a very oriental fragrance that has a lot of spices going on here. And it's also an amber fragrance. And if you guys love your ambery, your spicy oriental fragrances, then uh, it's a must try. If you love your Grand Soir by MFK, if you love your uh, uh, Dessert Marocan by uh, Tower Perfumes, then try this one out. Love the Dessert Marocan. So yeah, this is this is very beautiful and uh, it's actually in uh, my top for life. I, I love this fragrance. It's so beautiful. Uh, I have to say that it's not my daily fragrance. I don't use it uh, every day. Uh, it's my special occasion fragrance, uh, it's a little treasure of mine uh, because um, I want to reserve it for, you know, special moments in my life and uh, it just feels so special and uh, it feels uh, like um, when you're celebrating something, it's a very good fragrance for that. So yeah, special occasion, but I, I can see someone actually wearing this fragrance daily and I can see this as a signature scent. To me it's a perfect unisex. Uh, I would say it's uh, for all age groups, I believe, yeah. It's just beautiful. It's fresh, 
spicy, ambery, a little floral, uh, very deep. It's it it has everything in it. Yeah. For my taste. Yeah. So for me as well, it uh, has the best. Uh, it has all the notes that I truly, truly enjoy in fragrances and to me it's a perfection, it's a masterpiece and it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance yeah. and uh, we love uh, Cecile Zerican for this scent especially. Uh, she made also Petra here. Uh, I also have uh, Neurotic uh, by Laboratorio Olfativo uh, that's made by uh, Cecile Zerican as well. We have... Um, Ani also... by Nishana. Uh, Nini Chanet and um, Mon, Mon Ami Rouge by, by Mar 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 Yeah, so all of the, her fragrances that we have uh, that are full bottles in our collections, they have a very special place uh, in our collections and we really, really enjoy them and uh, Tango may be just one of the, the, the best. M my, my two favorites from her is uh, Tango and Mon Ami Rouge. I have to put uh, Neurotic here as well, I just really love it. And then, then I would say is uh, Neurotic and uh, Ani. W we really enjoy also Epic Woman by Amash, uh, uh, great fragrance. And I really enjoy Private Label by Javon, also her creation. Yeah, so yeah, fans of Caesar Can will, I think, really love Tango. So yeah, yeah guys, uh, that was our top five uh, of uh, Mask uh, Milano. And uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, this top. Uh, we hope you find uh, uh, something interesting in our top, maybe some new or useful information for you. Uh, we hope that you, we've made your life a little bit easier to choose or maybe uh, you got interested in some of the fragrances or maybe you thought to yourself, ah, no, I don't like that and uh, just uh, crossed the uh, fragrance out of your wish list. Whatever happened, we're happy if this was helpful for you. And if it was helpful for you, if you did enjoy this video, we'll be very happy if you'd subscribe to our channel. It's very important to us. Thank you so much for watching us till the end. Uh, we wish you an amazing day and goodbye. Thank you. Bye.